Bellator for releasing his very first television ad. Shelling out over $2 million a week in the early states of Iowa and New Hampshire with this ad campaign starting tomorrow. Take a listen to it right here. The politicians can pretend it's something else, but Donald Trump calls it radical Islamic terrorism. That's why he's calling for a temporary shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until we can figure out what's going on. He'll quickly cut the head off ISIS and take their oil. And he'll stop illegal immigration by building a wall on our southern border that Mexico will pay for. We will make America great again. All right, this ad comes just months after Donald Trump said he didn't need to advertise. So why is he changing his tune right now? And will these ads actually sway some undecided voters? Leslie Marshall and Brad Blakeman are back with me for analysis. And, wow, Brad, I'll start with you. He's promising a lot there. A very interesting commercial, even if you listen to the tonality of it with the music, as it starts off with all this scary stuff and how he's going to fix it all. And at the very end, he says, we'll make America great again. And it's a very uplifting cadence of music that suddenly turns more harmonic. What do you think people are going to react to? How are people going to react to this? Will people believe this and believe him? Well, those who seek to believe him will believe him and i think he appeals to a very small uh, part of the electorate which is a general population but more importantly i think he he appeals to a small uh, population of the base of the republican party and let me say this the, the i find it cartoonish actually and uh the production value is very poor for a presidential candidate and the two million he's putting in a week is a drop in the bucket to what it should be he mm -hmm. should be spending much more money than that. But again, he, he mocks the fact that he hasn't spent any money at all compared to the other candidates. Well, and he's still number one. I do want to share with you. I mean, you mentioned the production value uh, and you're saying that it's poor for a presidential candidate. We have gotten uh, some analysis from political fact, which uh, political fact, which it basically fact checked all the video. And what they learned was that this video where he's talking about the Mexican wall uh, is actually video from Morocco, I believe. So yeah, uh, that's a, a, according to political <laughs> fact. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so, Leslie, that said, I mean, he's out there advertising now uh, with a big, big spend in these critical states. Is not enough to put him over the hump? Is he going to secure the Republican nomination uh, in part based on this new ad campaign? Not based on this new ad campaign. I mean, we have to look at, there, there are three schools of thought as to where are, where's the support and the approval coming from for Trump. And, you know, he's hoping it's, it's coming from those loyal who are actually going to vote for him and make him the nominee. I think this does two things. One, it shows that he's serious about this. This is no longer a reality show. And two, I think it's very risky because I, Brad, you and I have agreed last segment in this segment so far. This is scary. Uh, the most <laughs> of the Republicans that I know don't, don't agree with, may even like uh, Donald Trump. There's a lot to do with his celebrity here, that mm -hmm. level, that cult of personality. But there are many Republicans and most Democrats, but Republicans that do not agree with what he's saying. He oh, has sure. said, let Putin handle ISIS. Now he's mm -hmm. saying he'll cut off the head. Uh, th th this is just empty promises. And the American voter, uh, Republicans especially, are smarter than this. I don't think this is going to help them at all. Uh, Brad, uh, Leslie makes a valid point there. A lot of Republicans don't like him. You stress that he's going to be challenged on a national level if he secures the nomination. In your, your view, though, will he get the nomination to begin with? He will not. And I think he doesn't appeal enough to the base of the Republican Party, the broad big tent that the Republican Party has. And more importantly, what's good in uh, of selecting somebody who's unelectable? I don't think he's going to appeal uh, to women. I don't think he's going to appeal to independents. And that's two voting blocks yeah, but Marco that are Rubio must win will? for Republicans. Yeah, I think he I think Marco Rubio has a much better chance of not only being selected by the party by elect by being elected by the people because he has broader appeal than than a lot of the candidates who are still in the race. Mm -hmm. Who do you think the, is the hardest candidate, Leslie Marshall, for Hillary Clinton to beat on the Republican side? Right now, Ted Cruz. Uh, right now, All right, I'm going to jump Cruz, in. Uh, President think... Obama just speaking on the matter.